Hello, everyone. Welcome to another webinar from Conversa and our ongoing webinar series. Great to have you here today. Sorry, we're getting started just a little bit late. We had a little bit of a computer snafu right at the last minute, didn't that when it happens? Uh, it's great to have you here. We're going to be learning a little bit today about reputation management, uh, actually stellar reputation management. So we're looking forward to that. But before we get started and before I introduce our presenter today, I just want to refresh in our minds the, the process. This, this presentation is going to be about 40 minutes. Uh, at the end of that, we'll open it up to questions and answers. So during the presentation, if you have questions, put them into the little question yeah. box and we'll get to those questions at the end. Also, uh, for those of you who are interested, I've had a couple of questions about this already. Yes, this will be recorded and we'll be providing links to the recording to everybody who's attended here today so you can uh, get a chance to listen to the parts that you've missed if you've had to step away early. Um, and with that, I'm going to introduce Thomas Varkis, who is from Chicagoland, actually. Uh, so I don't know that we've had anybody from Chicagoland on here in quite a while, but he's a, a digital marketing pro. He actually received a a um, recognition for that from uh, Congressman Danny K. Davis last year for outstanding service uh, in the business community in his area there. But he's the founder of eBiz Universe Incorporated. They're a digital marketing company, and they specialize in developing online strategies with very powerful lead generation techniques. So that's really what we're talking about today, some of the help that we can get on generating more leads. And with that, I'm going to turn the time over to Thomas, and we can learn how to get our reputation management back where we want it to be. All right, all right. Thank you, Jim. Uh, can everybody hear me okay? Uh, if you can hear me, uh, uh, can you just type yes or hello, something in the, in the chat box? All right, all right. I think uh, everybody can hear me okay. So thank you, Jim. Uh, for this opportunity to present. I'm very excited about this. Uh, this is something we've been um, doing lately, and uh, I think you're going to get a lot of value today. First of all, I want to thank Conversa. Conversa, we are a client of Conversa. Uh, you've got a great call uh, recording and call logging platform. We, I think we've got about 60 numbers or something uh, with Conversa. We've been using it for years. Our clients love it. Uh, because you could record the calls, you could listen to it, um, and that's a, a way we, um, you know, provide a return on investment analysis and, and show customers at how they are getting the calls and how they're getting value out of the digital marketing that we do for them. So thank you, thank you for, to Conversa, thank you to Jim. So today, I want to talk to you about online reputation management, and really, my job today is to provide a ton of value so that you could take these actionable steps and, uh, and implement it for your brand or your business and, and, uh, and, and, and change your online reputation from a less than stellar online reputation to a stellar online reputation, all right? Let's, um, uh, yeah, like Jim said, there's gonna be time at the end to ask some questions, uh, so uh, feel free to uh, jot down your questions and, and ask them uh, towards the end of the show. All right, guys, so who is the uh, EBIS Universe? Uh, I'm the uh, CEO and founder of EBIS Universe. We are a digital marketing firm. Uh, Thomas, I'm gonna pause you for just a second. You're, mm -hmm. You need to have just your presentation on the screen. We're only seeing a small, it's just a small block right now. I think okay. you need to get a full screen on it. So somehow it's not with your screen the way it's set up. All right, let me see, let me see what's going on here, okay. Okay, I think I might have to. Is it better now? Can you see it now? Uh, no difference. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, cool. I was using dual monitors, and that's what the problem was, I believe. Okay. Now it's it's All still right. show it's still showing the go to webinar overlay uh, the go to yeah, webinar yeah, yeah. tool. Yeah, there you go. Right okay, now. perfect. Thank you. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, who who are we? We are uh, 
Um, uh, uh, we are a digital marketing firm located in the suburbs of Chicago. We have been serving clients for the last several years, about eight or nine years now, um, over 100 clients. Uh, we've done uh, all kinds of uh, um, sir, uh, clients, uh, small businesses, medium businesses, big brands, government agencies, things like that. We are a certified uh, Google partner. Uh, doing all kinds of social media as well as uh, SEO, things like that. Here is a snapshot of some of our clients. You're wondering who I am. Like uh, Jim said, thank you for the intro, Jim. Uh, you know, uh, I'm the founder of uh, Ebis. Uh, last year, I got an award for the Digital Marketing Professional of the Year. There is that picture right there. I'm the only one wearing, uh, not wearing a tie. Oh, there's another guy. <laughs> so... Uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff. So now let's jump right into uh, online um, reputation, okay? Did you know that over 90% of consumers perform online research and turn to online review sites before making a buying decision? I mean, we live in a world where everybody is Googling everything, right? So um, they, they are Googling um, any kind of service that they want to buy. They're Googling um, any kind of brand that they want to do business with. I mean, it goes without saying, and I'm sure you agree with me too, that everybody researches the biz the customer, I mean, the potential vendors that they want to do business with, right? So when they research, they're going to see these kind of things, the stars, right? And have you ever wondered what is a star worth? So Harvard Business Review, they did a survey, and they found that even a one-star increase in rating can amount to over 9% increase in revenue for a business. So let's say if you're a restaurant or something like that, okay? You're talking about a 9% increase in your bottom line, let's say from a three to four star or from a four to five star. That's how much a star is worth according to Harvard Business Review. Now, you know, everybody um, buys things uh, for the most part on Amazon. And uh, if you look at the ratings on Amazon, uh, you could see that um, if you get less, the, let's say less than a three star or let's say three and a half star, and if you're an unknown author, forget about selling your book. You ain't gonna sell any copy. But let's say if you're an unknown author, you got four or five star, you're gonna turn, uh, you're gonna sell a ton of books. So that's the way um, ratings are affecting book sales on Amazon. And then there is Yelp, right? The elephant in the room. A lot of small business owners uh, complain about Yelp because it's something that's hard to manage. Nobody knows what the algorithm is like. Uh, I mean, some people say it's a pay to pay scheme, uh, things like that, which I don't believe it is, but nobody can figure out uh, their filtering system and things like that. It's, it's pretty much uh, uh, something business owners love to hate. And, and here's uh, some, some startling stats. Uh, a group of Berkeley economists found that even a half star improvement makes it 30 to 49 percent more likely that a restaurant will sell out during peak business hours, uh, especially for restaurants and smaller businesses. Yelp is, is, is really, really important if you have a bad rating on Yelp and when customers Google your business, that has the potential to come up on the first page on the first couple of results. So it's really important um, in terms of small business owners. Okay. So what is online reputation management? Uh, some of you might have heard this term. Some of you might not have heard this term. Basically, online reputation management is, is monitoring your uh, brand's reputation. What are others saying about your brand? What are others saying about my company? And then what you want to do is you want to promote your brand. And then the third thing you want to do is suppress and address negative reviews. So the practice of monitoring the internet reputation of a person, brand, or business with the goal of promoting trust and suppressing negative mentions entirely or pushing them lower on search engine results um, is really what online reputation management is all about, okay? Why is online reputation management so important? Like I said before, 
your prospects are online. People who want to do business with you, they're Googling you, your brand, um, and seeing what others are saying about you online. So your prospects are online. Your competitors are online. Your competitors with those with those glowing five-star reviews are online. And when they see you uh, with three-star and when they see them with five-star, you know who they're going to pick. So... Uh, that's another thing. Your competitors are online. Then your customers are online as well. And that includes your unhappy customers. Not everybody is going to have all those uh, happy customers. I mean, uh, at some point in, in your business, you will hit some unhappy customers. And Internet has given them a voice to go and voice their opinion today. So like I said, the Internet has changed everything. Before the Internet, businesses were able to control their messages through communication channels like television, like radio. Um, they just put out one-way uh, messages. So they would say, hey, our product is a great, our brand is a great, and, and nobody knew really uh, if they were good at customer service. If they, I mean, nobody could do anything about it because it was just controlled by the company. But the internet, like I said, has changed everything. Now, everyone has a voice. Every customer of yours has a voice. They could just go to a blog site. They, just, they, they could go to a review site. They could go to social media and, and write pretty much good or bad about your business. So the Internet has given power into the hands of your customers, which is why online reputation management is really important. Now, where are people talking about your business? And that's really what your online reputation is. There is a lot of bloggers. People people are talking about your brand or your business on blogs. They're talking about you or your brand on forums. And then there are review sites. And then there is social media where you can write uh, comments, you can share things, uh, you can go and uh, send a message to the brand. Uh, and then there are former employees who might have something to say about your business, either good or bad. And there are sites like Glassdoor and, and things like that where they can uh, go and contribute to their, to their opinion. So online reputation is not just a problem for smaller businesses. It does affect the big boys as well, like Walmart. There are sites dedicated to how bad Walmart is and how bad Home Depot is and things like that. But at the end of the day, Somebody writing something bad about Walmart or Home Depot is really not going to affect their bottom line as much as a small business. For a small business, a low online rating could be detrimental to the revenue of the business. I've got scores of examples of restaurants, their sales affected, and within two years, they shut down because their reviews online were so terrible and they couldn't do anything about it because it was too late. So although it is a problem for the big boys, it really doesn't affect them as much as small business owners like us. So what are the negative effects of a bad online reputation? Let's take a look at that. First thing is unresolved customer issues, right? That leads to bad customer experience, which leads to bad reputation. And ultimately, it's going to be lost revenue. It's going to hit your bottom line. That's at the end of the day, it's going to hit your bottom line, which is why we want to be paying attention to uh, our online reputation. There's more to lose with bad reputation. You could lose existing customers. For example, if your existing customers find out um, and they Googled you one day and found, uh, saw all these bad reviews, for example, if you had any. Uh, and, uh, you know, they'll be like, really? Are these guys that I'm giving my money to, should I be even doing business with them? So they're going to have second thoughts about doing business with you, right? Definitely having a bad online reputation is going to have, uh, is going to have you're going to have difficulty getting new customers. And ultimately, like I said before in certain examples, it's going to be an existential threat for your business. So in the same way, 
bad reputation can have negative impact on your business. If you have good online reputation, that's going to be uh, bring some positive effects for your business. So what are they? You will have no problem retaining existing customers as you can, as long as you take care of them. It'll be so much easier to get new customers. If, for example, you're a sales rep and you send a proposal and everything looked good up until that point, you send that proposal in and you're waiting to hear back from the customer, you're calling them, they're not returning your phone calls. Potentially, there might be something that they stumbled on about your business that they found online and they really don't wanna to talk to you anymore. So if you have a clean online reputation, it's gonna be much easier to get new customers, not only when they Google you, um, even after that first touch point where you send in the proposal, you know, if they Google your brand after that, they, I mean, if they come across what uh, your best customers are talking about you, it'll be an easy decision to go with you. You'll be able to maintain a positive brand image and ultimately you'll be able to close more deals, which means more sales and profits for your company. So the question I have for you today is, do you want to prepare for it or do you want to repair it? I'm sure you heard of John C. Maxwell. If you haven't, he's, a, he's one of the top 10 leadership experts in the world. He said, if you are proactive, you focus on preparing. If you are reactive, you end up focusing on repairing. This is so true, especially when it comes to online reputation management. If you are proactive, you don't have to be scrambling when you get a negative review. Like I said, you can't please everybody. There are going to be some bad customers. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, they, when you're going to have a bad customer. If you, have been business, if you have been in business for at least a few years, you know that. So if you're proactive about it, if you've been working on your reviews, getting good reviews, when you get a bad review, you really don't have to scramble to go and fix that. Uh, and be in all repair mode at that time. So that is a question I want you to ask yourself today. Here are five tips that I wanna to talk to you and how to build a stellar online reputation. Again, you wanna be proactive. So the first thing you wanna do is create positive branded content and flood the first page of the search engines with positive branded content. So when they Google your brand, when they Google your business, that's what they're going to read. They're going to come across this positive branded content about your business. The first thing you wanna do is, you might have already done this, but you wanna get a well-ranked website with your brand name as domain name. So if let's say for example, your company name is XYZ Jewelry. You want to get a domain name, X, like something like XYZJewelry.com or something similar to that, so that when they Google your brand, that's what shows up, number one. Okay? It's not, real, it's not hard at all to rank um, your website for your brand name. So that should be pretty easy. So that's the first thing you want to do. The second thing is, um, you want to publish articles, you want to publish videos, you want to publish uh, press releases, you want to put some pictures out there uh, about you. There are so many places, so many uh, properties online where you can do all this for free. And I'll touch on some of those. You want to have some ongoing blogging, some uh, SEO if possible. Uh, but but uh, basically what blogging does is, you know, if you have a blog on your, on your website, you could just publish articles and, and things like that, which will uh, get ranked on the first page again for your brand. Uh, what, do you, what do you publish on your blog? Publish some tips, tools, helpful tutorials. It's something that will provide value for your potential customer, okay? The second thing you wanna do is get, get listed in local directories. There is over a hundred directories out there like Google Local and Yahoo, local.com, Bing Local, uh, Yelp, uh, Merchant Circle, Manta, Foursquare, City Search, Hot Frog, uh, you know, superpages.com. And, and, and you could just go in and create your listing. And sometimes they might have already created it for you. All you have to do is claim it 
and uh, you want to make sure that your brand is spelled right your website is there your phone number is there um, and, and things like this on that uh, on, on, on that on on those uh, on those local directories and you can showcase some customer testimonials and, and this doesn't cost you anything at all this is all free uh, for anybody who want to use these platforms the third thing you can do is take advantage of social media the first thing on social media you want to do is set up your social profiles with your brand name so whenever you set up a profile you want to make sure that your brand name is clearly mentioned on that social media in the description in the title of that page uh, even in URL and, and Facebook and, and certain um, uh, social profiles allow you to choose your own URL and when you choose the URL make sure it is uh, as close to your brand name as possible and then once you set it up you don't want to just uh, leave it idle you want to post daily um, like I said what do you post provide value think of always providing value to your customers your potential customers if you provide value you know the business is going to come you go your, your your Google likes when when websites and social postings provide value and they'll boost it up um, to the front page uh, to the first page of Google so provide value edu publish educational content solve uh, problems and publish those kind of articles on social media the next thing you want to do is leverage video platforms there are video platforms like YouTube daily motion the mayo um, several others out there but these are the are the main ones where you can go and create a profile you can start publishing videos these days uh, creating uh, videos is so simple there's so many automated tools out there uh, the cameras on, on smartphones are really good these days I mean it just takes only a few seconds uh, to publish a video these days and once you publish the video you want to optimize it by adding titles tags and descriptions what is going to be a title it's going to be a business name it's going to be a brand name uh, put make sure you have it in the titles and the tags and the description and it'll start appearing on the first page of Google so that's the beauty of uh, of publishing videos this is especially important if you're an individual uh, trying to repair your online reputation so some of you if you're business owners you may be wondering um, really is there such a thing as as a personal brand reputation and why does it matter we have had clients call us I mean um, uh, potential clients and, and some of them who became clients call us saying that there's a negative press about them online could be um, it could be a lawsuit that they were engaged in or uh, it could be something else that they were a part of and those start appearing in the first page of Google and once that happens it is really hard um, to get a job I mean that's a sad situation right now so um, so if you're an individual you want to make sure that you go and create business cards virtual business cards on sites like about.me card.ly my one and there are several ones out there like Crunchbase and things like that. So, so make sure you claim those, especially uh, if you're an individual trying to maintain your online reputation. And you want to do is monitor online conversations. Like I said, you don't want to be monitoring the conversations once you have a bad review you want to do it on a regular basis. Find out what people are saying about your business do a google search for your business name what comes up if your business name is too generic uh, add the word uh, reviews along with that and see what comes up check articles blogs forums and customer customer review sites and see what uh, what people are talking about you on there frequently check your blog and website for comments and pay close attention to social network sites And what you want to do then, once you monitor and once you find these reviews, is you want to respond and interact. You want to first listen to what people are saying, 
you want to respond to both positive and negative comments. That's very important. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But it's really important that you respond to both. And again, you have to be respectful and display a helpful, friendly demeanor. The last thing you want to do is get into an argument with anybody online. Always quickly offer a solution to any problem that customers are, are bringing up. Uh, if, if they're talking about uh, a problem, a customer service issue or something like that, you want to really address that online or at least give them a solution to contact um, um, an email or something that they can contact so to, for, uh, to further resolve their issues. Here are some tips to boost customer reviews. So every one of us, if you've been in business for some time, you definitely have great customers. Others, you cannot stay in business, right? So there are, there, you are going to have good customers. So what you want to do is you want to send them to those uh, third-party listings like Google Places, Yelp, City Search, and uh, those other places are Facebook, and where they can go and post reviews about your business. Okay. If you're an e-commerce store, ask customers to review products by placing a call to action on your product pages. I mean, the, the example of this is Amazon, and there are several other um, e-commerce sites where you could just simply ask them to post a review right then and there. And I've seen a lot of businesses do this. Um, they, they have created a page on their website, and they have put their Google, Yelp, Bing, Yahoo, profiles on there so and they send uh, all the customers to that page and they can click that and go and uh, create reviews uh, for them so it's easier for them to um, to they just have to go to one page so it's easier for them to find and, and review two common mistakes local businesses make okay Ignoring your online reputation, that's the number one mistake that uh, most uh, businesses make. So they think, oh man, I hate Yelp. I don't like um, uh, Google business. I don't like Facebook. I'm not into all these things. I'm not gonna bother about this. You know, that is a big mistake. Like I said, you have to think about, do you wanna prepare or repair? It's only a matter of time that you're gonna get a bad customer if you're gonna stay in business for some time. And uh, you don't want to scramble at that time. You don't want to ignore it. You want to be proactive about it. You want to do something about it. Make sure that you have claimed your profile and you're, you're actively engaging in getting positive reviews. The second biggest mistake, and this is probably what I've seen a lot, is responding to bad reviews with emotion. I mean, nobody likes when somebody bashes your business. You have spend all your life working to create a great business. And, uh, you know, the sad thing is, uh, for the most part, the people who tend to write reviews are the people who have had a negative customer experience, right? And they go and bash about your business online. And you see that I'm, you're fuming. You're like, man, I want to punch that sucker on the face. He talked about my business. And then what happens is you take that uh, emotion, you, and then you write a response to that. That is really not acceptable uh, because I'll tell you in a little bit why. So why do you have to respond and interact? <clears throat> Excuse me. That helps build relationships. You might end up winning a customer when somebody um, asks a question and, or when somebody um, uh, writes a review and then you say, hey, thank you for that review. Or if, if you got a three-star, like, hey, can you tell us how we can improve? Things like that. It builds relationships. It allows you to actively manage and control your brand. It shows that you care. And it allows other people to see your point of view. So that's another, the most important thing that I want you to focus on is the last one. When you respond, whether positively or negatively, your potential customers are seeing what a jackass you are or what a good person you are. Okay, so that is the opportunity. Let's say somebody left a bad review. And when you respond with emotion, you're, you are really destroying an opportunity 
to repair that and, and the, your potential customers are going to read your response. They're going to be turned off by your response. So you really don't want to respond to bad reviews with emotion. We'll talk about how to deal with that, okay? Now, let's talk about, you know, a lot of people hate Yelp. A lot of business owners, I mean. And how can we fix a broken reputation on Yelp? This, this part is only for people who already have some bad reviews on Yelp. You want to make sure brand optimization your main, is your main focus. Basically, uh, like I said before, if that, those Yelp reviews are appearing on the first page of Google, you want to make sure that uh, you're doing some brand optimization to push down those Yelp reviews to the first or uh, so, the, so the second or third page. Um, you might have to use some SEO to drive down the, neck, uh, the, the the bad press over there because sometimes just doing brand optimization may not push it down. You might have to engage some professional SEO um, company to do that. We have done that in, in some cases where um, that th those were showing up on the first page and the owner tried everything and uh, they couldn't get it off. So we had to step in and do that. So sometimes in not all cases, you want to do, do that. Uh, you want to create and submit press releases, articles and videos. Um, again, what you're trying to do is push it down to the second or third page, uh, create blog, same thing that I spoke about before. And um, uh, one thing you can do is engage in social media that, um, and build a loyal following. Use Facebook Live and things like that to build a, a loyal following. And, and once they know, I mean, that way they see the personal side of your business, of who you are. And, and at that time, they wouldn't care too much about what people talk about you on Yelp. So reputation repair, really it's all about um, how we can get those negative reviews taken care of, okay? So the first thing you want to do when you see a negative review is to politely request if they would reconsider the negative reviews they posted. You don't want to do any uh, bullying tactics or anything like that. You just want to um, you know, reach out to them by email or phone. And if you're able to find who they are, uh, you should just reach out to them and say, hey, listen, uh, I'm sorry this happened. Uh, just apologize, offer a solution, and ask them if they are uh, willing to reconsider the negative reviews they posted. Uh, and I can guarantee you in, in you know, eight out of 10 cases, they are going to uh, reconsider. They will, they will uh, consider it. And if they're satisfied, they might even get rid of, uh, remove the negative review. Like I said, don't ignore your unhappy customers. Uh, you want to offer uh, them a solution. If you're unable to reach them uh, via email or phone, you want to respond to them publicly, again, in a, poli in a polite manner, offering a solution, apologizing if it was your mistake, things like that. See, everybody makes mistakes and everybody understands that. As long as you're able to own up to it, uh, people will give you a second chance, okay? And the third thing is you, you have to know when to walk away. Like I said, you can't please everybody. There are going to be some unhappy customers no matter what you do. They just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and they keep waking up on the wrong side of the bed every day. And they're not going to be happy uh, with the level of service that you provide or they're not going to be happy with, <clears throat> with their life. They're going, to, they're going to complain about everything. So at that point, you need to know when to walk away. But again, Never argue with your customers because your potential customers are watching what you do online. So all these things that I talked about, all these steps, you're able to do it yourself. You can do it manually. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can spend some time every day. Uh, it might take uh, 30 minutes to an hour every day if you can devote to it, uh, trying to build a positive online uh, image, sending uh, your customers review requests, uh, asking your good customers to post reviews and things like that. But what if there was a way to automate it? So one of the things that, um, that um, as business owners, we 
we do is we focus on automation because it saves a lot of time. Uh, because once it saves us time, we can use that time for other things like you know, uh, marketing and sales and things like that. So what we did was we we have come up with a tool called MyReviewEngine.com, uh, where all these things that I spoke to you about can be automated and then some. All right, so. The first thing you can do if you go to myreviewengine.com and you put in your business name, your zip code, and your phone number, it'll scan all the reviews for you wherever they are. And this is completely free. There's no cost to it. You could just go there and scan your reviews. And what happens is it, it brings up a report like this, a beautiful report that gives you a review score. It says, you know, you got 50 or 60 or 70, uh, whatever that is, it shows all the reviews um, uh, that you currently have, where the reviews are, um, you know, what sites they are, like, you, I mean, it says whether it's on Yelp, whether it's on Facebook, and it gives you a link where you can click as well. So that auto, uh, that's, that's the first thing you want to do is run a report where you can see where you stand today in terms of online reputation, in terms of online reviews, okay? Here's another thing that it does. It finds and amplifies the voices of happy customers. So, like I said, we want to amplify the voices of happy customers that we have served over the years, and that's what a business should be focusing on. And the other thing that this tool does is it reaches unhappy customers before they bash your business on review sites. So before even they go to Yelp or Google Business, I'll show you how that, that happens, this tool prevents that from happening. So that is something you cannot do uh, with a manual process. Everything else I told you you can do in a manual process, but you don't know when you are sending somebody to your Google Biz My Business page or Yelp uh, profile, you don't know if they're going to post a good or bad review. You're taking a chance. They might be all nice in front of you, but behind the scenes, they might post a bad review, right? So, but this tool prevents that from happening. And what it does is, let's say they posted something negative, Again, not on Yelp or something. If they if they don't like the experience that they are ha they had with you, this tool will give you a chance to handle that negative customer experience and turn it around. And it gives you one dashboard to monitor and manage reviews, and it automates review request campaigns. Pretty much, your whole review gathering. Uh, process will run on autopilot in, in this situation in, with this tool. And it'll project your best reviews on your website, okay? So how does it prevent bad reviews from happening? So this is what it does. So this, it, this tool gauges customer intent before they are sent to a review site, okay? So this is what they get. When, when you request a review from a customer through my review engine, again, it's an autopilot, they will get a, a screen like this saying, hey, did you like our service? Good, not bad, bad. And when the customer sees that it's a one-click situation, they're going to take action. So this actually gets you 80% more reviews than by sending them a link. Let's say they said good. What happens is the tool will immediately pop up Google or Yelp. I mean, you can control whatever you want to show up on there. And then they can just click that and they'll be sent to your profile where they can post a review. But what if they said bad? This is the best part of it. If they said bad, you really don't want to send them anywhere. I don't want them anywhere near Yelp. I don't want them anywhere near my Google My Business page, right? So when they, if they click bad, what happens is a, po a form pops up and says, I'm sorry, you had a, customer, a bad experience. How can I address it for you? And in, in this form is customizable too. So, uh, some of our customers put a video here. Basically, it gives them a, a place where the customers can vent. They're typing th uh, 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 all the things, all the issues they had with the business. They hit send message that comes right to you. It's not going anywhere. And then you can get up on the phone or email and address that issue, okay? I wanna give you a quick behind the scenes look of my review engine. It's gonna go real fast. Basically, you can set up any review site um, um, virtually all review sites are available 
um, it, it's so easy as adding a link there. And then um, you can hide and unhide those review sites anytime. Let's say you use this tool and you're getting a lot of reviews on Google. You want to hide Google and just focus on Yelp for some time or Facebook. And, and then you could just, it's just the click of a button. You can hide it and unhide it anytime you want. Different uh, styling options are available. If you don't like the thumbs up, thumb down, you can use the stars. You could use the smiley face. Different options are available. Uh, and that's how easily cho you can choose it with the click of a button. We use the stars. And um, uh, same thing, you know, you can change it anytime you want. Again, uh, you can control the content. It's again, it sends it on autopilot. Uh, it sends so you can write uh, the message, the good, uh, the message to the positive reviews, what the content should be for unhappy customers. All that is available in the tool. You can also have widgets that can be placed on your website. You could place it in your email signature. There is a QR code. I mean, there's all kinds of functionality that's available again with this tool. Uh, you the, the invites. How are customers going to in, get the invites? You can manually upload a CSV file of the customers, or we can integrate this with any CRM out there. It also gives you email capability and as well as uh, text and phone capability as well. And ultimately, it also monitors the reviews for you so you don't have to go and search it on a daily basis. It does it on real time, daily or weekly. Uh, you could set up uh, when you want to be notified. Here's some case studies after using this tool. Here's an example of a client. They had um, only a one star rating here. And it's not because they were doing ba uh, bad business. They were, they were a great company with a lot of hundreds of really good customers, but they really never were proactive in getting good reviews. And as a result, um, looks like it was a competitor, it's not even a customer. They went and posted some uh, bad reviews about them because they were a um, they were they were a game changer in the industry and people didn't like it. Their prices were really good, the quality was good, but some competitors wrote some bad reviews. And now they started using the tool. You could see they are like four and a half star. Uh, this is just within 30 days, 12 Google reviews. Okay, here's another a dentist using a tool uh, similar to, uh, to to ours, and he's got over a hundred five-star reviews. Think about it, over a hundred five-star reviews. It's impossible to get that many um, using a manual system, okay? So now you're asking how much does it cost? Normally, on our website, if you go to myreviewengine.com, you can see it's $99 a month or $8.99 per year, but I've got a really great webinar special just for the people attending today. We've never done this before. Um, and this is the first time you're offering this in the webinar. If you go to this URL, it says myreviewengine.com slash webinar dash offer, uh, you should be able to get 50% off the regular price. We'll professionally set it up. Usually we charge $250 to do that. You have a 30 day money back for any reason. I mean, you say, hey, listen, I don't have money. I don't want to pay for it. Any reason, 30 days, you get money back. And also, we give an ironclad five-star review guarantee. What that means is, uh, let's say you use this tool for two months and you, you didn't get any positive reviews. We will step in. Our team will step in and handle the review process for you. And if we are unable to get you any five-star reviews after three months, we'll refund you the entire amount that you paid for uh, my review engine. Uh, never done this before. I don't think we're ever going to do that too. I don't know. Uh, but um, we just want to eliminate every risk and help um, your business succeed. So you're getting 50% off regular price and it's only till Friday, unfortunately. What you have to do is when you click on um, when you click on myreviewengine.com slash webinar dash offer, I think Jim might type that in the in the chat window. So you can just click there and go there. And then the offer code is like I said, we have never done this before. The offer code is specific to this webinar. It is Conversa 50. So you can see that it's Conversa 50 during checkout. You apply that, you get 50% off uh, regular prices. Uh, again, this is only valid till Friday, uh, March 23rd, okay? You get professional setup, you get 30 day money back handy for any reason, and our ironclad five-star review guarantee where we, we guarantee that you will have 
uh, five-star reviews after using the system. Like I said, you have a choice to make today. You, if you're proactive, you focus on preparing. If you're reactive, you end up focusing on repairing. So make your choice today. I hope um, you will be able to sign up for the webinar, uh, sorry, sign up for the uh, special offer and take advantage of it. Um, and now I'm going to open up for any questions that you have. Great, great presentation, Thomas. I, you know, there are a couple of questions that have been posted. And once again, for any who may be uh, still asking the question, is this going to be recorded? Uh, will I be able to refer back to this again? The answer is yes. That'll be sent to you in an email within the next 24 hours. First question I have for you, it's actually a, a bit of a, a two-part question. It was put as two questions. And it has to do with customers, first of all, who are between 60 and 70. Uh, the question there is, do the same rules apply? And then the second part of the question is, they have a lot of customers who are 75 plus, and any thoughts about using the, the advice that you're giving today to apply to those two groups of people? So, so let me understand this properly. So they got customers uh, 50, and 60, 60 to 70 and 75 plus. Okay, and I'm I'm going to guess it's so they take care of some elderly service or something like that. So now, uh, uh, is the question is if online reputation management uh, management is important for them? Absolutely, because it could be their kids making the decision, and even themselves. My dad's 78; he's on Facebook all the time. So it's not like young people are online everybody is googling everything and he wanted to see an eye doctor he googled and he told me i'm not going to that guy he only got two star so it does matter and now uh if the question was if this tool will work for them this tool will absolutely work for them because it makes it a thumbs up or a thumbs down they think it's going to be very easy to do it they'll click on it and they'll be taken down that path to post that review yes absolutely Okay, just a second here. It's scrolling funny. Let me get into the bottom of the list. Okay, the next question, uh, it's about buying a new business that uh, it's going to be closing soon. Um, oh, it's the it's a third question, and this guy has already left. So, But it's probably worth... Um, I'm trying to put these questions together. Sorry, it's a little bit. Uh... Yeah, no problem. Oh, he's wanting to know about the offer you're making. Can can it can he get it in April? Because his business doesn't open until after April. Okay, I mean, uh, can he send us an email? Uh, we might be able to hold a spot for him. You'll be get, getting this information in your report. So yeah, you'll have that. Okay. Uh, the next question has to do with the regular pr price of the service. Just a restatement of that, I suppose, is what we're looking for. Uh, the, the regular price is $99 a month or uh, $8.99 per year. So this one is 50% uh, off of those prices. So this one you get basically for 40, uh, 40, uh, sorry, $49.99 and uh, $400 a year. So it's on the website, myreviewengine.com. So you basically, what you see there, you get 50% off that price over there. But only till Friday, March 23rd, it expires at 6 p.m. on Friday. Okay. Well, there are no more questions popping up here. Uh, I'm, I'm, you did a great job of, of explaining what was there. And, you know, I, we, Reputation management is, you know, the last few years, it's really increased in how important it is um, for a lot of the reasons that you stated, and managing it is, is extremely crucial. You know, I, I am fascinated by some of the turnarounds that you're describing and having uh, bad reviews and then being able to get that corrected so well by getting your, your uh, reputation improvement looking a lot better. Um, you know, if you have yeah, more, absolutely, absolutely. If you yeah, have I more mean, statistics on that, I'd be interested in hearing that because it's um, uh, 
that's powerful to know how quickly you can turn it around. Yeah, so like I said, there was an individual who contacted us saying, you know, he's having a hard time uh, getting a job. And this is a senior level exec uh, because um, uh, there was some uh, um, some negative press about him as a lawsuit and it was online. And uh, at that time, we had to do online reputation management uh, for his uh, for him. And we pushed that bad link down to the second or third page, I don't remember. There were about three of them. We pushed it down to the second page. And there's another local business uh, around here. Um, They had uh, bad reviews on Google. They had bad reviews on Yelp. And they had some pissed consumer. I mean, it was, this is like the the, the worst case scenario and rip off report, okay? And um, this one took a longer time in terms of, so what we did was we used this tool and their reviews are all up to about four star, even including Yelp is I think four star and Google is four and a half star. Uh, but still the piss consumer and reputation uh, ripoff report was still on the first page. So we had to do professional online reputation management service where we pushed it down to the, to the second uh, and third page. So now... If you go to the, I mean, it's not a bad service. Like I said, they deal with a lot of customers and uh, often it's the bad customers who tend to post these um, the reviews at all. The good customers never post reviews. So we ended up pushing everything to the second and third page. So now in the first page, it's all about their Facebook page, their website, um, Pinterest and all these stuff that shows up on the first page. Next question. Can I manage more than one company in my dashboard? Um, yes, there is. A, we could set it up in a way. Uh, that is something uh, you'll have to email us to about it. Once you sign up for it, you can just email it to us and we can hand, We can uh, see how we can do that. Who are your competitors? <laughs> uh, um, there are several ones. <laughs> That's a good one. So there was uh, a... <laughs> There are a few of them out there, but what we do, see, here's the the unique thing, okay? There are several ones like, you know, I think there were some big ones like reputation.com or things like that. I don't know exactly, Uh, but what makes us different is uh, is gauging the intent, okay? So I don't think there's any tool out there that can gauge the intent um, like we do. So everybody else that automates the system, they just send everybody to the Facebook, to the, to the Google My Business or Yelp page directly without gauging the int- intent. Our tool first finds out your intent or your customer's intent before they're going to post a review. So that is the real cool part about this tool. Plus, you can automate the rest of it, too. How long is the contract if you sign up for the 50% discount for the uh, My Review Engine? So there is no contract. So you can cancel any time. So okay. it's, a, it's a month-to-month deal. And uh, can we also do a re- review check before we can make a decision to step into subscribe. I think a test uh, drive is what we're talking about here. A free trial? Absolutely, yes. We could set you up with a free trial. Just uh, uh, just send us an email. We can take care of that. Okay. Then a repeat on can I manage, manage more than one? And the answer to that was yes, you can manage more than one from your dashboard. Uh, is, and I may not pronounce this correct, me, me, Medallia, is that a competitor? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure if they're a competitor. I don't think so. I've not heard of that name before, but they could be. Uh, but I have not heard that name before. Um, let me go back to the free trial situation. Actually, okay. I take that back. Uh, it's not a free trial. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can cancel if you don't like it. So it's not a free trial. You have to pay. And if you don't like it, you can cancel it. So with this offer, we don't do free trials. Gotcha. And then after the at this special price, after the first year, will the, will the price be the regular one? 
No, the price will be the same as what you sign up today, which is why it's very, very exclusive. Whoa. Uh, yeah. In the, in the that's, future. That's, do, wow, that is a yeah. special pricing then. Right. That, like I said, is the first time we have offered this. So uh, in future, we might say hey, first year is this much, second year, you got to pay regular price. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We should have advertised that before you, before you ahead of time. Uh, that, that's quite yeah. a deal. Well, I'm not having, whoop, oh, we're getting some accolades. Uh, they, they, they like what they've heard. They like the, the deal that you've sweetened it by making that clarification. So it's, it is appreciated. So that's good. Okay, great, great. Well, um, Thomas, this isn't going to be the last time we have you here. I, and you were telling me you had actually presented with us a few years ago. So that's before my time. But, uh, right. you know, this, this is a great message, uh, you know, strong product, very timely. I mean, uh, can see a lot of ways this can come into use. And I'm sure everybody on the webinar today kind of thought the same way that uh, maybe it opened their eyes to some possibilities and, uh, you know, what we can do to make the improvements when we start. Well, before we start having problems is when we should do it. But definitely when we're having some some negatives out there about us we need to get it corrected and have the ability to do that is an, is an awesome opportunity. So right, any right. parting words you want to leave for everybody? Well, I mean, like you said, we want to be uh, proactive about making sure uh, your reputation is there. And the reason we came up with this tool is I would say on the top three complaints that customers have had not our customers like when I meet like potential customers and people business owners have had is that you know uh, how do I get more reviews because today reviews are everything if you I mean if you if you have good reviews people are going to believe that online they're not going to go and say hey this is this real or what I mean if they see bad stuff they're going to believe that too. That's the sad, sad situation today of the internet. But there is a way today to deal with that. And that's why we came up with this. Very good. Well, everyone, thanks for being here. I, I enjoy these uh, chances to hear great insights. And Thomas has brought us more great insights to us. So you'll be getting a, an email with the link from the for the recording to this web uh, of this webinar thanks a lot for being part of it until next time everybody take care thank you bye all thanks for being here thomas thank you bye